Hello, fellow book questers. Today I'll read you this great book, Egyptian Adventure Oxford Reading Tree and I Go Away series created by Roger Condon <coughs> and Alex Butcher. Nadam and Anina came to play at Biff and Chip's house. Nadim had a book about the ancient Egyptians. It isn't just a book to read, said Nadim. It's a special sort of book. It's a model book, said Nadim. He opened it to show everyone. I get it, said Chip. You press out the shapes. Then you fold and glue them to make a model. The book had lots of shapes to press out and fold. Nadim pointed to one. Can you see what this will be? He asked. Of course we can, said Anina. It will be a pyramid. Chip found some glue. Then Nadim pressed out the shapes and the others began to fold them. First they made the pyramids. Anina had a difficult shape to fold. This is the Sphinx, she said. They pressed out some tiny trees and people. Beth glued them all onto a sheet of paper. It made a, a scene of ancient Egypt. The children were pleased with it. I'm really pleased with the Sphinx, said Anina. At last, the model was finished. It looked so good they called Mom upstairs to have a look. What a good job you made it," said Mom. "I like the pyramids and the Sphinx. The Sphinx was hard to make," said Anita. Floppy ran into the room. He didn't see the model on the floor, and he trod on it with his big paws. He knocked over a tree and crushed. The Sphinx. Oh, Floppy! Everyone yelled. Floppy looked unhappy. He knew he had upset the children. Never mind," said Chip. "It wasn't Floppy's fault. The Sphinx looks even better than before." Suddenly, the magic key began to glow. The key took the children back. In time, it took Floppy too. It's not my day," thought Floppy. First, I get into trouble. Now, it's a magic adventure. The magic took them to ancient Egypt. They were standing by a pyramid. The pyramid was still being built. Far off, they could see two more pyramids. This is amazing," said Adam. "I didn't think the pyramids were so big. Some people were pulling on long ropes. They were moving a big block of stone. That's amazing too," said Chip. "I didn't know the pyramids were made with such big blocks of stone." Look over there," gasped Nanina. She pointed to a huge stone sphinx. "Let's go and look at the sphinx," she said. They all began to run towards it. Floppy didn't go with them. He had seen a cat. The cat hissed at Floppy. Floppy couldn't stop himself. He chased it. It leaped on to some blocks of stone. Floppy jumped up too. But the cat was too fast for him. Biff saw Floppy chase the cat. He, she called to the others. They all went back to get Floppy, but she was stuck on the blocks of stone. She couldn't get down. Oh, Floppy, you silly dog! Said Biff. The children looked up at Floppy. And、he's a long way up," laughed Nadim. "I'll just have to climb up and help him down," said Biff. Then the man ran over. 
He looked at Floppy and gasped. The man called to some people. They ran over to the children. They ran over to the children. At first, they were talking and shouting. Then they all went quiet. What are they doing? Asked Biff. Why are they looking at us like that? The people put their hands together and raised them in the air. Then they sank down on their knees. They're bowing to us," said Jip. "They must think we're important." How strange," said Nadam. The people were not bowing down to the children; they were bowing down to Floppy. I don't believe it," whispered Jip. "They must think Floppy is important. I wonder why." The people took Floppy away. The children followed. Floppy couldn't believe all this was happening to him. A magic adventure is bad enough, he thought, and now this. The people took Floppy to the king's palace. The king came out onto the step. In Egypt, a king is called a peril," said Jip. "This peril looks very fierce." Everyone bowed when they saw him. "We'd better bow down too," said Jip. "We don't want to get into trouble." A man spoke to the peril. "Great peril," he said. "See what we have brought." "The yellow dog," gasped. Gasped the peril. The peril took Floppy inside the palace. Then he clapped his hands. Look after the yellow dog, he said. Give him whatever he wants. Hmm, thought Floppy. I'm beginning to enjoy this adventure. I just don't get it," said Biff. "Why are they making the fuss of this fuss of Floppy?" The parrot clapped his hands again. Some people ran into the palace. One of them began to paint a picture of Floppy. Suddenly, Biff sneezed. The parrot saw the children. Strangers in my palace! He shouted. How did they get in? The guard, the guard grabbed Chip and Nina. Another one grabbed Biff and Nadim. The guard took the children outside. They took them to one of the pyramids. The pe, the people were moving the big blocks of stone. You all look strong," said the guard. "You can work here." The children had to help put one of the big blocks. They had to pull the rollers down to slide it along. This is hard work," moaned Biff. "These rollers are heavy." It was time for a rest. The children had to drink from a skin bag. Ugh," said Chip. This water is warm and it tastes funny too. I'd rather have an ice cold can. The Egyptians were carving a giant stone block. The children had to pick up all the chips of stone that fell off. This is hard work too," said Nadim. "It's no fun being an Egyptian slave." And Nina looked at the carving. I wonder if they're making a sphinx," she said. "A sphinx has a body of a lion, but that doesn't look like a lion's tail. Hmm, that tail looks familiar." The carving was finished. "I said it looked familiar," gasped Biff. "It isn't a sphinx at all. It's floppy." At that moment, the peril came to see the carving. Some Egyptians carried Floppy. 
Suddenly the magic key began to glow. Floppy jumped down and ran over to the children. Come back, yellow dog! Called the parrot. I'm glad it's time to go, thought Floppy. It was all getting too much of a good thing. What an adventure," said Adam. "I didn't like being an Egyptian slave." And Nina picked up the model Sphinx. A Sphinx has a lion's body and a man's head," she said. "But this does look a bit like Floppy." Egyptian adventure. Nadim model Nadim's model book leads to an adventure in ancient Egypt. Flop is mistaken for an important dog, and the children have to help make a pyramid. Egyptian adventure, and thank you for coming. And please sub.